Yeah, I don't wanna slow down, I don't wanna slow down, I don't wanna slow down till I burn out. I just wanna live fast, I don't wanna look back and say I could've done more than I did now. Sometimes it can be hard, yeah, it can be hard, yeah, it can be hard when you grow up. People feel you with doubt, you start thinking about what you're gonna do now. But we only got one chance and got one life to live. And it's do or die, gotta make it count, so lose your worries Let your problems go on, until my whole body burns out I ain't never gonna slow down As you can tell, there's a bit of a change of scenery. We are in Mexico this week for some beach and some sun and family fun. We haven't had some quality time in a long time together, so we're really excited to spend the time together and also get some relaxing in. The hotel is beautiful. We had a really long travel day yesterday, so it was so nice to be able to have this on the other end waiting for us. Our little guy did so well. He was up since like 5 a.m. and he was on planes, trains, automobiles, all sorts of things and he was such a trooper so I was glad to be here yesterday had a really lovely walkthrough of the hotel which is just stunning so I'm looking forward to doing a lot of great relaxing and reading as well this week so the three books I'm attempting to read this week are After I Do by Taylor Jenkins Reid I also brought The Love Wager by Lynn Painter which I mentioned in a recent book haul um, I just thought that would be kind of fun little rom-com for vacay and then I also have a fantasy read that I've been reading on my Kindle very slowly I think it's called The Serpent and the Wings of Night or something it's like a fantasy that everyone has been raving about recently. They say it's supposed to give Akatar vibes, but I don't know. I personally hold Akatar on a very high standard and I'm just not sure it's so far reading like it, but I'm only a little bit of the way through, probably like 20%. So we'll see how it stands up against Akatar, but people have good things to say. So thanks for watching. I'm going to take you along to show you some of the activities we do, but I'm not going to lie to you. I'm probably going to be doing mostly relaxing and reading and not doing much because while vacations are great to do excursions and activities and all the things, this time I am exhausted and I just need some downtime, some chill time, and just some time with my boy. So it hopefully will be all of those things. So thanks for watching and I will catch you a little later.
update. As you saw, we spent today at the pool. I'm still kind of rocking some funky beach humid pool hair. Um, and then I got to do some reading while my son was napping in this fun little hammock that we have on our balcony. I was like asking my husband what the dimensions of our deck at home is because I was like, I think we need to get a hammock stat because it absolutely amplified the reading experience. I was like, so in my little world, the breeze was blowing, the view is beautiful. I was loving life. So big hammock fan over here. But anyways, I've been reading after I do by Taylor Jenkins Reid. This is one of her backlist items that I've been going through and reading. Last year, I read all of her bestsellers, like Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo and Daisy Jones and the Six. Of course, everybody knows those, everybody loves those, but I was really intrigued by the way that she writes characters, especially after I read One True Love, which is one of my favorite books from last year. And so I was like, I, yeah, I love the way she writes characters. I wanna read everything in her backlist. Last month, I read Maybe in Another Life. Oh goodness, I think it's gonna thunderstorm, but um, I read Maybe in Another Life and I didn't love that. So I was like, that's the first experience I've had reading her books where I didn't love it. So I need something to redeem itself. So I picked up after I do. This is about Lauren and Ryan and they have been dating together for a number of years and they're in their first year of marriage and they're kind of finding out that they're falling out of love a little bit. So they do this experiment to spend a year apart. So they're separated, but they're not divorced or anything. They're just kind of doing like a trial, see what happens when they spend a year apart. They still think there's something left in their marriage, but they're not, that's my little husband and son hanging out inside. Um, I didn't want you to be freaked out. Oh my gosh, okay, yeah, there's not a random in my room. That's my family. Um, anyways, yeah, so they are doing this little experiment to see how it goes with being separated and if they really truly want to throw in all the cards or if they actually wanna make it work after that year. So back to Taylor Jenkins Read books that grab you right from the get go. I'm feeling much better about this one than the last Taylor Jenkins Read I've read. So, so far, so good. Um, hopefully I can get a little bit more reading done a little later today. We are headed out to dinner now and they also have this really cute little carousel on the property that I'm hoping to take my son on. So we'll see how that goes. But yeah, I just wanted to give a little update. I'll catch you later. We had another wonderful day today hanging out at the pool and I can't figure out if it's the book or if it's the sun making me not want to read. So I've been reading after I do like I showed you guys yesterday and it's just been so blah recently and I'm starting to think Taylor Jenkins read all of her backlist items are not as great as her recent works and I might just have to stick to her recent stuff because this is another one that started off okay and I was a little bit excited but it's starting to feel like maybe in another life again like that book that I read a couple months ago that wasn't that great and I'm just not excited it's very mediocre the characters are okay like it's been I keep waiting for something to happen I'm about 45% of the way through so almost halfway and it's been a very kind of like blah I just it's a lot of internal dialogue she's not really getting at anything they're not really kind of proving anything or moving the plot forward it's very kind of okay so I'm not sure if it's that or the sun as well. I've just kind of, every day I go outside, I just want to be relaxed and be in the moment and hang out with my son and my husband and some of our friends that are here as well with their little ones. So maybe it's like part and parcel, like a little bit of everything. But if tonight when we get back from dinner, um, I pick up after I do and it's still not exciting, then I might just put it down. I might leave it alone for a little while and pick up the love wager, which is a bit more of a rom-com and a little bit more vacation-y. So 
I might pick that up. But tonight we are headed to this little rooftop dinner area that looks stunning, kind of overlooks the whole property and hopefully has some nice views and stuff. Yesterday, unfortunately, it rained and we didn't get to take my son to the carousel. Hopefully today it is open and I can show you. That would just make his entire day. Um, and then yeah, we'll go to dinner and then come back and hopefully chill a little bit and have some time to read. I'm not doing as much reading as I thought I would on this trip, so I really need to nip it in the bud. And if this book is not doing it, then I might have to switch gears. So we'll see what happens, but hope you've been enjoying our little Mexico trip so far. And I will catch you guys a little later. here on this trip with some friends so tonight is guys night so my husband is out hanging out with his guy friends and I am on baby duty and he is asleep so I am planning on having a very cozy night in but man, you guys I cannot do it with this book anymore but after I do this one I'm just I can't it's like ruining my vacation reading because it hasn't been exciting at all I'm very bored. I'm waiting for something to happen. Nothing is happening. It's like ruining my whole reading vibe. It was just not a fun read. I was sitting at the beach today. It was so beautiful. It was such a nice day out and reading this book and being bored to tears. So I feel like I have given it three full vacation days and now I'm gonna have to call it. I just, I can't keep going. So I'm going to be picking up the love wager. I'm hoping this comes through. It seems much more like a fun rom-com and I think it'll be much more like vacation vibes, which is what I need. So I am going to be done with after I do for now. I think I will finish it at some point, probably on the plane ride home, but I just, I can't keep going anymore. I was like, I'm not going to let it ruin the rest of vacation. So I am going to get cozy. I'm going to just wash my face off get into some blankies and get cozy and just do a bit of reading while I have the chance tonight. We had such a lovely dinner again, a really nice restaurant on the ground front area near the carousel. And as you saw, we also got to make it to the carousel today. So little boy was so happy um, that we got to go. So that was really fun. And then yeah, dinner was lovely and enjoyable, but an early night for me and the little guy while he is out at dinner with his friends so hopefully this is a good little read and I can just fly through it and accomplish at least finishing one book on this vacation so let's see how it goes night you guys <laughs> 